Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is for all of you out there who are starting university this September and you're feeling a bit apprehensive about it. Going to university is a massive, massive life change where most people are moving away from home for the first time ever and you're basically being plonked in a new place with people who you've never met before and so you're bound to feel extremely scared. So in this video I want to give you some tips about how to cope during your first week of university and how to make the most out of Freshers' Week because you will only actually get Freshers' Week once in your life so you might as well make it count. My first tip is to be prepared. So before you even arrive at university you want to have kind of a bit of a plan of what your week is going to look like. So for some people you might have some lectures and you can look up when these lectures will be on your online timetables which can be really useful because then you can see just how busy your week's going to be. For a lot of courses, a lot of unis, there will be no lectures at all or there'll just be some maybe welcome meetings, things like that. So it's important to take note of when those might be because you don't want to miss anything important in your first week. You also might want to look at the events that the SU is running during Freshers' Week. So this might be a night out or it might be a games night or a quiz or anything like that. You just want to have a research, know when it's going to be and make a little timetable for yourself. So I just basically got a notebook and I wrote down the dates and times of all the events that were going on because I just didn't know what I'd fancy doing when I got there, I didn't know what other people would be doing, so I just made sure I was aware of them all so that when it came to the week itself I wasn't shocked and I wasn't confused, so I had an idea of where I was going to be going each day. There can be introductions to some societies. So at my university, the Musical Theatre Society that I'm part of, during Freshers' Week they had a showcase so you could go along and see what the society was all about. And things like that um, are good to note because if you're really interested in a particular society, you want to make sure you don't miss something like that. On the same front of being prepared, it can also be really useful to join the Facebook page for your university or your course. This helps you keep up to date with going on in the university. It can also be a good way to find your flatmates or people who are living near you so that before you go to university you can actually kind of make a little group chat and get talking a little bit before you meet everyone. And I know people are a bit sort of sceptical about messaging people before uni's begun and sort of trying to get to know your flatmates before you've actually met them but I think it can be really useful because it just means that when you arrive you have some familiar names and some familiar faces who it's just easier to go and approach those people that you've already kind of maybe messaged online or something. I know that on my first night I had been messaging a girl before university started just about general things like what we were going to take to Freshers Week, what we were going to where to the events that were on and I actually messaged her on the first night I was at uni and just said where are you um I haven't met anyone yet and I went to meet her and she's ended up being one of my best friends so it can really pay off to just get to know people a little bit before you go but obviously you're, you're always going to meet people when you get there so it's not a big worry and it's not something you have to do at all. So you've made a little timetable, you've maybe sussed out who your flatmates are going to be and now you arrive at university and it's fresh as a week. One of the things that a lot of people struggle with is homesickness and so the biggest advice I can give for homesickness is to firstly accept it and embrace it because most people are going to be feeling the same as you and there's no problem at all in just taking some time to sit in your room and just basically feel a little bit lonely and feel a bit sad that you've left home. I guarantee that most people at uni will probably have a moment like that during Freshers' Week because it's just such a big change and for some people they haven't really been away from their family before or away from their hometown before. Um, so it's fine to just give yourself some time to adjust. But what I would say to help with this is to try and stay as busy as you can without burning yourself out of course. So if you've already got this timetable prepared that can be really useful because you can wake up on your first morning and just think well these are the things I can do today, I've got this lecture, I've got this meeting, I've got this social in the evening and your day sorted. Um, even if you haven't done that just stay busy, just get out of your room, get talking to people, just go to any events that you're kind of interested in, even if you're not 100% sure, it's better to just go and try things and keep yourself busy and active and then you always just start to forget about the homesickness. I just remember Freshers Week being so so busy, I just think I was non-stop, I never really had chance to be in my room, I was always out, 
I, I was seeing people, I was at lectures and I was at events and things. I was literally just in my room to go to sleep. And so I think that really helped me because otherwise if I had nothing to do all day and I just sat in my room, I'd probably get really worked up about the homesickness thing. So societies and clubs. Now what a lot of people say is as soon as you go to uni, just try as many things as possible. Join every club that you possibly can. Just get stuck in with everything. Now my advice would differ a little bit because I think that to properly enjoy a society or a club, you have to invest enough time in it to get the most out of it. So as for me, I knew that I wanted to do athletics slash running because I've always done that. I knew I wanted to do some kind of musical theatre type thing, so I joined that society. And I knew I wanted to do some sort of volunteering um, to, to do with the medical school. So I joined a volunteering society as well. And so those were the three that I did and I've actually carried them all on. For me, it was better to invest my time in things I actually truly cared about and wanted to do. Having said that, Freshers Week is the time when everybody will be new to the club or the society. And so it is the best time that you can join. You're gonna feel the least nervous when you're going in because everybody's gonna be new. Everyone's gonna be in the same position. Everyone's gonna be trying to make friends. So it's so easy to chat to people. Oh, and another thing is that societies and clubs have tryout sessions during Freshers Week or maybe just after. So this is where you go and you try out the sport, you try out the society, and then you decide if you like it or not. And that's a really good thing to put in your timetable and go to. So I went to the lacrosse trial and I always thought at uni I wanted to take up lacrosse. I don't know why I had this kind of desire, but I did. And I went to the tryout, I went to the trial session and to be honest, I just didn't really enjoy it. And so it was easy then to decide, well, I'm not gonna join that club because I'm gonna save time so that I can go to more of the running sessions, for example. So yeah, definitely try things that you want to try, but don't feel like you have to be at a club or society every single night just because it's uni and you need to try everything. So now I'm going to talk about nights out. I think a lot of people get anxious about nights out in freshers because it's either they don't really like nights out and they're worried that they're going to have to fake the enjoyment of it or maybe people are scared that they're going out into a big city, into a club with people that they don't really know and don't really trust. Well, I would say that if you don't like nights out, there is no pressure at all to go on them. There are so many other evening events that the SU holds that aren't nights out and they don't involve drinking and there's events in the day if you want to do daytime activities and there will be enough going on that you don't need to go on the night out to fit in. It's a good chance for people who haven't been on night out before to try it in Freshers Week because everyone's kind of new to the clubs and at Nottingham, um, I can't speak for all unis, but at Nottingham um, it was very like controlled so we had buses that took us directly from our halls to the clubs we had reps that stayed with us the whole night that like they came into the clubs with us so if you wanted to leave at any point they'd go back with you there were always buses waiting outside the club to take you back so you weren't just stranded in a city with people you didn't know and so it felt very, very safe to be going on these nights out. What I would suggest about them is if you're going to get tickets beforehand to things like nights out, then to get them from the SU, because most people will be going to the SU events. So I know that a few people in my freshers week got tickets to kind of external events or like external nights out. And then they were kind of the only people going to them and everyone else was going to the SU events. So it's probably best to get the SU event tickets. And that means that you have all the reps that come with you and all the buses and all the transports arranged for you so just think it makes it so much easier. If your uni doesn't sell tickets beforehand, I suggest just wait until you get there and just see what other people are doing because you don't want to have all these tickets that you've bought beforehand and then it ends up that the rest of your flat or the rest of your halls are all going to something else because then it's just going to be a wasted ticket or you're going to have to go to something on your own. Yeah, just kind of go with the flow but if you are going to buy tickets beforehand, I would check that you're getting the SU ones that everyone is going to get and you're not getting some kind of external ones because a lot of companies, I think, try and sell them off as like the official freshers tickets, but they're not. Okay, so now moving into your new room. Now I could make a whole video about things to bring to uni and how to decorate your room, but basically the underlying piece of advice I would give for freshers week is just bring home comforts, bring things that smell like home, remind you of home, something like like your dressing gown that you wear every day at home, bring it up to uni so you just have that comfort with you. I brought up a little bunny rabbit with me, a little cuddly toy rabbit, and I had it in my bed and I still have it 
even now and it's just like a little reminder of home a little comfort that just sort of sits in my bed and it's just sort of nice to have yeah i just kind of tried to make my room as cozy and welcoming as possible so that i would just be really comfortable in it put loads of pictures up of your home friends and your family and yeah just make it make it nice and homely and cozy so friends this is another massive thing that people get anxious about what if i don't make friends what if no one likes me what if no one talks to me what if i struggle to talk to people what if i don't go on with my flatmates all these sort of things and i think the biggest advice i would give is in freshers week don't feel like the people you meet first have to be your best friends for life because although in some cases it does work out like that for a lot of people their flatmates aren't actually their best friends that they end up living with in the following years of uni like a lot of people they like their flatmates they get along but they're not their their best friends you might not even meet the group that you want to be part of until halfway through the year you just don't know so just don't get too stuck to people don't meet someone on the first day and think right that's it i'm just going to stick to this person for the rest of the week and i'm not going to talk to anyone else i've got my friend now sorted done like always always be open to talking to new people because you just never know who you're going to meet so when you sit in lectures just chat to the people next to you if you're in catered halls which i was it's really nice because you can go get down to dinner and you can sit with anyone chat to anyone just get to know as many people as possible because the more people you know the more chance it is that you're gonna find the people that you really want to stick with and you really want to live with in the following years and you want to hang around with all the time and it's fine if you feel like you're switching between friendship groups everybody's kind of finding their feet so people aren't going to be offended if you for example sit in a lecture with a girl one day and then you sit in a lecture with another girl the next day like people aren't going to think that that's weird they're just going to think that you're trying to get to know lots of people and that's what you're trying to do so that's fair enough i was quite flexible in my first week i walked to lectures with different people i sat in lectures with different people i went on nights out with different groups in the end it took some time but i just kind of realized the group that i thought i fitted in with most and who i liked the most and got on with the most and then they were the group i kind of from then on just stuck with at uni but even now i'm still open to talking to new people especially in clubs and societies you meet so many new people so you don't need to have just one friendship group at uni you can just have so many different groups from all different areas from your course from your clubs anything so my main advice is just to stay open and just don't panic if you don't feel like you're majorly getting on with anyone well there's no stress because your home friends you've probably known for years and years and these people at uni you've met and you've probably known for a few days so don't put pressure on yourself that you've got to get really close to people straight away because it's just going to take time and it may take time to find the people who you want to stick with long term now my final piece of advice which kind of underlies everything i've talked about so far is just be brave and just say yes to things so obviously if you don't feel like going on a night out or something like that then that's absolutely fine just just stay and do whatever you want to do but if you're kind of on the fence about something or oh, i don't know whether to go to that that event or not or oh, i don't know whether to go and join these new people that i met at lunch or oh, i'm just not sure just go and it's going to be scary and you're going to have to just be brave but it's just always better to go unless you've got like a reason really why you don't want to if you're just not sure and you you're not sure if you're going to fit in or anything like that i would suggest just going and just trying it because you can always leave something if you're not enjoying it you can always never ever go to that club again if you really hate it but you're never going to know unless you go you never know what opportunities might arise from things that you go to you never know who you're going to meet you could meet your best friend by going to the quiz night in your halls or something like that so that sort of brings me to the end of my video um for everyone starting uni this year massive good luck to you hope it all goes well hope you have the best time fresh week it is daunting and it's scary but it's actually a really amazing week and you're just going to be so busy you're going to have so much on you're going to be meeting so many new people it's going to be amazing <laughs> so thank you very much for watching this video i hope it was helpful to some of you and yeah have a great start to your new life at uni. Bye!